If you've tried Cloud AI before and thought, meh, ChatGPT is better, there's a good chance that you haven't seen what it's truly capable of yet. After months with this tool, I've found that by playing to its strengths, Claude can actually outperform ChatGPT for many tasks. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to unlock Claude's most powerful features, from training it to write in your voice to features that most people don't even know exists. So you can finally see why Claude might become your new favorite AI tool. Before we dive in, let's talk pricing so you know what to expect. Claude has a free version that gives you around 30 to 40 messages per day, but you can hit that limit pretty quickly when it comes to longer conversations or file uploads, especially when you start using the advanced features that I'm about to show you. Now the pro plan costs $20 per month and that gives you around 45 messages every five hours. Now I consider myself to be a moderate user of Claude and I haven't personally hit those limits, but I've seen quite a few complaints online about this, about people hitting limits. So just be aware if you're planning heavy usage. And then of course there's the max plan, which costs hundred dollars per month, which gives you even more usage. Don't let those usage limits scare you off though. The features I'm about to show you are genuinely impressive. And for most people, the limits won't be an issue. I just wanted you to know upfront so that there's no surprises. All right, let's jump into the interface. When you visit Claude AI, you're gonna see this clean, sleek, simple design. Here's your main prompt box, which is where all the magic happens. If you click on the plus sign right here, this is where you're gonna actually upload the files that you want Claude to analyze. You can upload images, PDFs, Word documents, Excel documents, etc. And you can also connect your Google Drive and access documents from there as well. Now you'll also notice a few other important options right near the prompt box. When you click on here, you're gonna see use style where you can select different writing styles like normal, concise, explanatory, or formal. But the real power, which is what I'll show you later, is actually creating your own custom writing style. Now you're also gonna see options for extended thinking, which lets Claude show its thought process, which is really great for tricky questions. Next, you're gonna see the web search toggle. This is gonna allow Claude to pull in real-time information, making it a lot more current. This is a feature that Claude got a couple of months ago, initially in the US, and now I believe it's rolled out to all paid users globally, which is awesome. You can also now connect your Gmail and calendars so you can search for relevant information when you're working with Claude. The next button over here is actually the option for deep research, which works very similar to ChatGPT's deep research, Perplexity, Gemini, and it actually allows Claude to do more thorough searches into complex topics, uses more sources, and gives you a more structured in-depth report, which I'll show you later in the video. Now, another key thing to look at early on is your account settings. So go to your profile icon on the bottom left-hand corner, click that, and then click on settings. This is where you can set up your user profile to personalize Claude's responses. You can tell Claude about your work function. For example, if you're a marketer, a student, or a software developer, you can also specify the preferences that Claude should consider consider like asking it for responses to be more casual or highly structured or avoiding technical jargon. Taking a moment to fill this out really helps Claude to understand the general needs and context that you have, which saves you from having to repeat yourself over and over again in different prompts that you have. And it's a great first layer of personalization. Now, Claude actually has different models that you can choose from and picking the right one can make a huge difference in your results. See this dropdown? you've got a bunch of different options here. Now the 3.5 haiku model is the speed demon. So you wanna use this when you need super quick responses for things like basic emails, summaries, or quick questions. Now Claude 3 Opus is one of the older models, which used to be the flagship model, and it excels at writing and complex tasks, but some of the newer models actually outperform that one. Claude 3.7 Sonnet is designed for more advanced reasoning and it can give you fast answers, but also has a special mode the extended thinking mode for step-by-step -step thoughtful solutions if you need something a bit more in-depth. Claude 4, Sonnet, and Opus just recently came out. These are the newest and most powerful models. So Claude 4 Opus is the powerhouse for really complex projects. So think deep research or multi-step analysis. And then Claude 4 Sonnet is still super capable, but it balances efficiency and cost, and it's great for everyday advanced tasks. So if you're working on really challenging projects, you need detailed analysis, or you want the best possible result, then these ones are the ones to pick. Now, right below the prompt box, you have some helpful starter prompts that Claude gives you for different categories like writing, learning, or life stuff, which is really nice if you don't know where to start with your prompt. Now on the left-hand side of the screen, you've got your chat history on the left sidebar, and then access to more advanced features like projects, which I'll show you later. All right, so let's see Claude in action. Let's say we wanna write a business article on LinkedIn. 
Here's a prompt that we could give Claude. You are a world-class writer with 20 years of experience and five best-selling business books. Help me write a post about a business failure that taught me something valuable. Write in a conversational, authentic tone like Brene Brown, vulnerable but confident. Keep it to 750 words and include a thought-provoking question at the end to drive engagement. And let's see what it comes up with. Look at that response. Notice how it's not a generic template. It doesn't sound AI-like. It doesn't sound robotic. It really sounds conversational and natural, like a real person wrote it, and it followed all the specific instructions perfectly. This is one of the things that makes Claude so special is the fact that it sounds very human and it also has a really good attention to detail. Now let's see Claude's reasoning power in action with a different example. We're going to make sure that the Claude Opus 4 model is selected, which is the most powerful reasoning model that they have. And let's give it this prompt. I'm trying to decide between leasing a car for $400 a month or buying a used car for 15,000. Help me think through all the factors I should consider, including hidden costs and long-term implications. And let's see what Claude comes up with. Now, because I selected the extended thinking option, you could see it's showing its thought process too. It's showing, you know, upfront cost comparison, monthly ongoing costs, long-term financial implications. It's telling you what it's thinking through as it thinks. And here's what it generated. I really like how Claude breaks this down step-by-step. Step. It's considering the upfront costs, the monthly and ongoing costs, the long-term financial impact, the wear and tear on the cars, the hidden costs that we should watch out for, which is awesome. And then it's trying to say, based on what's important to you, here is the two options that you have essentially. So I really like the way it reasons through this example. See how Claude gives you balanced, unbiased advice? Claude is designed to prioritize actually being genuinely helpful. And then we have the Claude mobile app, which is really neat. The app is available on iOS and Android, and it's free to download. The interface looks very similar to the desktop version, which is great for consistency. You've got the plus sign right down here, which is where you can upload your files and your pictures. And you can also turn on extended thinking here. Then to the right of that, you have the ability to turn on web search, just like the desktop version. To the right of that, you have the research button. And then if you're not able to actually type while you're on the go, to the right of that, you can actually press this button here and you can say whatever the prompt is that you want to say to Claude instead of having to type it, which is very handy. Now Anthropic just released their advanced voice feature, which I now have access to, which can actually talk back to you. So you can have a whole conversation with it, which I'm about to show you. All right, check this out. Hey Claude, I'm looking for a thoughtful birthday gift idea for my brother who's into video games and uh, working out and my budget's around $150. Can you give me some ideas? Here are some great gift ideas that blend his interest. A high quality gaming headset like the Steel Series Arctis could enhance his gaming sessions or consider a fitness tracker that gamifies workouts. What type of games does he enjoy most? Did you hear how natural that actually sounded? I'm not sure exactly which one we have turned on right now in terms of there's five different voice options, which I'll show you how to actually access, but it sounded really good. And the ideas that it had were great. Something that my brother would actually like. So to change the voice feature, you're going to click on the bottom right hand button, the same one that we clicked on to actually start the conversation. And then at the top right hand corner of the screen, you're going to click that button. And here you have the various different voice options that you can pick, depending on which one you like. Now, here's another cool mobile feature. I can actually upload a picture and ask Claude about it. So I'm going to upload a picture of a bedroom and I'm going to ask Claude what suggestions it has in terms of ways I can improve the design of the room. So I'm going to click on the plus sign, upload the picture and type my prompt and we'll see what it comes up with. Wow, these are actually really good suggestions. I can clearly see that it's correctly analyzed the space. It understands that there's a ceiling fan and that the floor is dark and that there's kind of, you know, more of a bland wall color, which I really like. So this is a great feature. Another nice thing is that you can also switch between text and voice within the same conversation. So this is really handy if you're on the go and you're not able to type out your prompt. This is super useful for when you're commuting or when you want quick advice on something, but your hands are busy. Now here's where Claude gets really powerful as a writing partner. Whether you're a content creator, a business owner, a student, or somebody who just wants to sound more professional in emails. This is a feature that most people don't use to its fullest potential, which is the custom styles feature. It lets you train Claude to write in your style by uploading pieces of your own writing. So to do this, you're going to go to the tools drop down menu right by the prompt box and you're going to click on create to create your own custom style. I'm going to upload a document of my own writing just to show you how this works. So here's a quick YouTube script that I wrote without AI just to be clear. And now Claude's going to analyze my writing patterns, my tone and my style. And then on the right hand side, 
it's going to preview an example piece of content based on the style that it, it understands of what you've given it. So I'm going to click on educational content on the right, and then it's going to generate that piece of writing. Now, based on what I'm seeing here, I'm going to make it a little bit more engaging. I think it needs to be more engaging. And now that I'm happy with it, I'm just going to click save. And now we're ready to use our writing style. So now I'm going to give it a prompt to help me write a successful online blog about AI tools for small business owners. And then I'm going to actually go to styles again and make sure I select the one that we just created and we'll see what it comes up with. So I would say this is a pretty good start. I think it's going to significantly cut down on my editing time and the back and forth that I need to do because it's already written in a similar style to what I write. Over the past few months, this is something that has really saved me a lot of time when I work with it is just the back and forth with the writing because it understands my style pretty well. So whether you're managing social media accounts or writing professional emails or doing content creation or just want your messages to sound more like you, this feature is a big win. Now, let me show you about a feature that most people don't even know that Claude can do, artifacts. You can ask Claude to create content like visualizations or website designs, things like that, and it will create an artifact that opens up alongside your conversation. So let me show you how this works. Let's say you've poured your energy into building a really awesome social media presence and now you're on the verge of launching an online athleisure boutique. But how do you bridge the gap between all the likes and actual purchases and set some realistic expectations? One really helpful way is to actually visualize the customer journey with a marketing funnel. So we can ask Claude to help us sketch out what this marketing funnel might look like using industry figures to figure out how how impressions might actually convert to real sales. So here's the prompt that I used. Describe a funnel chart for a new online athleisure boutique. First stage of the funnel is social media impressions, then website clicks, then page views added to cart, and then completed purchases. Now I'm gonna show you what it actually came up with. Look at how cool this is. You could see it's followed my instructions really well. It, it's got the exact categories I asked for, social media impressions, website clicks, product page views, and items added to cart. And it's got some good figures in there. So I think this is really, really neat. See how the funnel shape visually represents the conversion process? Now you obviously want to double check that these numbers make sense, but this visualization is so useful for either a side hustler or a business owner because it allows you to set realistic expectations. You can identify potential bottlenecks. It tells you where to focus your marketing efforts and then also allows you to do some pretty good forecasting to actually figure out what you could generate in terms of revenue and bottom line. Now here's another cool visual example. Let's say you wanted to create a detailed meal plan for yourself or someone else. Let me show you how to do that. Here's another prompt we can give Claude. Create a visualization of a detailed seven day meal plan calendar for someone trying to eat healthier and on a budget. Include breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks for each day, plus a complete grocery shopping list organized by store section. And here's what it came up with. Look at how cool this is. You actually have for every day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks laid out really nice. And then you have the next tab, which is the shopping list tab. So you know exactly what you need to buy in the grocery store organized by section of the grocery store. Super handy. Now this is perfect because you can actually take this entire plan, copy it and save it to your phone and actually follow it. And if you want to modify it, you can, you can always ask Claude, Hey, can you make this more vegetarian? Could you make this keto, etc. Now, if you wanted to actually save this for yourself for later or share it with somebody, what you do is click on the top right hand corner of the screen where it says publish. And then it actually has the link right there, which you can click on the copy link button. And now you can email that to yourself. You can text it to yourself, text it to somebody else. That's how you can actually share it. Now, the next feature that I want to talk about is projects. This is perfect if you want Claude to act like a business strategist, a research assistant that actually remembers context about your specific situation, whether it's for your studies, for your creative projects, or even your personal goals. Now, just an FYI that this is a pro feature. So to create a new project, you're gonna click on projects on the left-hand side of the screen right here. And then we're gonna click on new projects at the top of the screen. And then it's gonna ask you what you're working on. So you gotta name your project and then what you're trying to achieve. And you can just describe what your goal is and uh, what you wanna accomplish. So let's say you're the owner of a local bakery and you wanna leverage AI to help you with your marketing strategy and some operational improvements. We can use Claude projects to put together this ongoing strategic plan. All right, so now I'm gonna upload a menu, customer feedback, competitor analysis, and past promotions as files so that it understands that context. Next, I'm gonna give it some custom instructions about what I want it to do as a business strategist assistant. And now every conversation within this Sweet Surrender Bakery uh, project 
Claude is gonna remember all of the context and my instructions. All right, so now to show you how this works, I'm gonna give it this prompt. Based on the customer feedback provided and our focus on community, suggest three low cost marketing initiatives for the upcoming summer season to attract more families. See how Claude is specifically tailored to the Sweet Surrender Bakery context, the goal of attracting families and drawing on the custom instructions that we gave it? This is not just generic marketing advice, it's actually specific for this bakery. This works for any area of your business or your life, especially when you wanna keep everything organized. Now, since we just finished uploading files into projects, I should probably mention that the context window is, is 200,000 tokens. This is an okay size, it can handle many reports and documents. But for huge files like novels or massive reports, you'd likely need to upload them in chunks. This for me is a little bit of a downside with Claude because some of the other competitors like Gemini or some of the newer models of ChatGPT offer a larger context window. But for most of the things that I've uploaded, this has worked fine, but just wanted you to be aware of that. Earlier, I pointed out that there's a deep research function within Claude, which is right by the prompt box. Now let's really dig into why this is a game changer. Beyond your standard query, this takes things a step further for when you really need comprehensive answers on complex topics. For example, you could ask it, what are the long-term societal impacts of widespread AI adoption in higher education and what ethical frameworks should be prioritized globally? That's a pretty deep, complicated question. You can see that it went through 479 sources to get us this information. And you can also see that it's showing its thought process because we selected the extended thinking function. And then when it's done, you get this extremely detailed report, which is super powerful. This is really useful for when you need to move beyond surface level information and get that detailed breakdown that you'd normally spend hours creating yourself. All right, so let's talk data privacy, which I know is a big deal for a lot of you. Anthropic, the team behind Claude, puts privacy at the front and center. Claude is widely recognized as one of the most responsible AI tools out there today when it comes to privacy and security. By default, your responses are not used to train the models unless you specifically opt in or report an issue. And that's a big difference compared to some other AI platforms. Now, when you go to settings, Claude actually tells you how they're using your information, which I really like. This is especially important if you're working with sensitive information or or business critical info. I would recommend regularly checking Anthropic's privacy policy and terms of service to make sure you know how your data is being handled. Staying informed helps you use Claude responsibly and confidently. And as a rule of thumb, I would recommend not entering sensitive information that you wouldn't want somebody to see or use just in case. So after seeing all of this in action, here's why Claude isn't just another ChatGPT clone. You just saw how Claude can actually adapt to your specific writing style using custom styles. You saw artifacts creating really helpful, cool visualizations, and you experienced that really strong reasoning ability. Plus, Claude's responses feel way more like you're talking to a friend than a robot. While other tools like ChatGPT may be your go-to for direct image generation, which Claude cannot do, or for having access to the massive library of pre-built custom GPTs, Claude truly shines when it comes to personalization, writing, and reasoning ability. So fire up Claude AI and try out some of these tips. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It really helps the channel. And if you wanna know more about how you can use AI every day, then click this next video.